I'm Michael Davis with Cross Robotics. Today, we're gonna to be working on the Universal Robots model UR5. I'm gonna be doing a joint replacement, and for today, we've selected joint five, which is wrist three. The way these joints are numbered on these robots is joints zero through five, with the base being zero, and then one, two, three, four, and five for the wrist. To begin, we're going to imagine that this robot is powered off and will not boot up. So I'm gonna show you how to manually position the robot to remove a joint. To do this, we'll remove the blue cap using a Torx driver, number T10. Be cautious when removing these screws because they are not captive and they will fall on you. On each joint, there is a manual brake release. You press it and then you can manipulate the joint that you need to get in position. We're doing this because inside of here, as you will see in just a few moments, there are screws with washers on them that need to be held in an exact position and you're gonna want gravity to work in your favor. The next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and take this cap off as well. Followed by the retaining screw. The next step is to peel off this gasket using a flat tip screwdriver. You're gonna work your way around it. There's a Teflon ring that you pull down on to gain access to the screws that you need to loosen in order to remove the joint. To remove these screws, there should be eight of them. There are four on each side, split right down the middle of the joint. You will use a five and a half millimeter wrench. Now that we've loosened all eight screws, we are going to attach our ESD wristband to the metal clip here to prevent any electrostatic discharge while disconnecting the con electrical connections. We're going to remove the connection coming from this prior joint, which is for your power and your communication. Now, as you'll notice, each of these are in the same sequence where you've got white and black and then white and black. You'll need to pay attention to that when you're reinstalling. The same is true with this power connection. You've got black, red, and then black, red. That makes it easier during installation. So you'll just grab on the tab to pull those loose, and the same with the power connection. You can now disconnect your ESD strap. And now that everything is loose, you can twist your joint, and you should be able to lift it out of position. You'll feed your electrical connections through here. You don't need your strap anymore because the connections have been broken, so any sparks that were going to happen have already occurred. And you have now successfully removed your wrist three. Now that we've removed our joint and we have our replacement joint, we're going to reinstall it, basically in reverse order of how we did the removal. And with the communication wires, before you feed them through, you're gonna make sure that they're twisted to reduce the amount of EMF in the system. Feed that one through. Followed by the power wires. Make sure that you pull these all the way up so that you, won't have, you will have enough slack to install them. Now you're gonna to wanna to just leave these here and you'll set these screws down into the keyed holes. Make sure that it is flush and level. Again, checking that you have enough of the, of the wires out and then you're going to twist that into position. We are now going to reinstall the electrical connections so since we're making an electrical connection, we're going to reconnect our electrostatic dissipator wristband. We're gonna go ahead and connect the power connection first. Again, paying attention to the orientation of the black and the red. Followed by the communication wire. 
the black and white in the same order. We can remove our ESD wristband now. And then with our five and a half millimeter wrench, we will begin tightening down each of the screws all the way around. Now that we've got all of our eight screws tightened down, we're going to torque them in a star or cross pattern using a five and a half millimeter torque wrench that is preset for 1.3 newton meters. This is a breaking torque wrench, which basically means it will click whenever you get to the point. Now what we'll do is we'll lift the Teflon ring back into place and replace the gasket. And then we're going to reinstall the retaining screw using a torque screwdriver, a T10 torque screwdriver preset for 0.4 newton meters. This is the same tool we will use to tighten the blue caps on each joint. And that concludes the replacement of our wrist three joint. Thank you for taking time out today to watch our video. If you need any further information or you need to contact us, check us out online at crossrobotics.com. Again, thanks for watching.